Hello everybody. In today's video, I'm going to take you on a quick tour around the coin shop, show you a few new things that we've added since our last time through. We're going to start with the beginnings of our supply area. We bought this piece of furniture from a gun shop actually in Minot here uh, that was closing down one of their locations and uh, they had a whole bunch of retail fixtures. Uh, there's also one back there underneath the TV, uh, but we were fortunate to get in contact with the owner, Steve, really nice guy, and uh, we were able to get these retail fixtures so we can uh, merchandise supplies. So I do have the start of some things. We got some boxes to hold two by two flips, both single row and double row. Also have certified slab boxes Got some coin albums, currency portfolios, got some do-it-yourself slabs. I did a video about those. Got a few other assorted supplies, got some uh, air tights, magnifiers, uh, coin calipers, a bunch of digital scales, and we got some books. Actually, most of our books are going to be behind the counter here on the shelf. Excuse my mess, but not sure if you can see all those, but those will get merchandised out here after a little bit. And uh, as you can see, we have brackets, but no shelves yet. Uh, we're working on getting some shelving made uh, that'll fit that. So that's coming soon. Soon we're going to have a pretty wide array of supplies. Still trying to figure out exactly what people are going to want to buy. I'm not going to have every single thing, that's for sure. But we will try to keep quite a variety. Just wanted to show you a quick Got some new sterling silver pieces in the sterling silver case. We're actually getting ready to send a whole bunch of sterling away to be scrapped, which is kind of sad, but ultimately that's what happens to a lot of this stuff. It does ultimately get scrapped and converted into bullion eventually. Got some new things in this case here. We got a four coin Liberty collection set, $60 set there. We have a Princess Diana Memorial coin. And the way I put this in here, you can't even see the coin, so I'm gonna to have to fix that. Got a 2013 limited edition silver proof set. Those are very nice, high quality sets, and it includes the proof American Silver Eagle from that same year. And a set I thought was really cool is a set in the back here. This is Chinese. There's a set of six different Chinese bills and a total of seven Chinese coins with some information. Of course, it's in Chinese. I'm unable to read it, but maybe some of you can. But that's a cool set that we just got recently. Came in across the counter. Another new thing that we got. We got uh, several eight reals and a few Chinese dollars as well. The top row plus the first two on the bottom row are all eight reals, either from the Spanish colonies or from Mexico. Some have chop marks, some do not, uh, but these are highly collectible. Uh, the last three here, these Chinese, those are Chinese dollar coins. One of them referred to as the junk dollar. That's the one on the left, the one on the far right. I believe they call it the fat man. Is, uh, the, I'm not sure who that is, but the imagery on the dollar, it's of a fat Chinese man, uh, probably one of their leaders. But those are all new inventory. Thought I'd share that with you. As always, we got a lot of certified coins, varying, you know, anywhere from quarters to ancients to half dollars to, we actually have some older, uh, I believe that's, yeah, Japanese. These are new, got some uh, brothel tokens in. This one's good for all night. At the Gem Saloon, Tombstone, Arizona Territory. Here's an all night check for $3. I'll let you read what that says. Called the Poke of Gold Saloon, Folsom, California. These are replicas. Uh, they're not actual vintage brothel tokens. They're fun replicas, but a lot of them are replicas of real ones that do exist. So, but that's why they're only six bucks. They're just kind of a fun novelty. 
we're always adding to our silver dollar case. Uh, much like wheat pennies, it seems like silver dollars are kind of the universal collection. Almost every collection that comes in has some silver dollars. Most of them aren't necessarily in collectible shape, uh, but they go in bins like this. That's a $35 bin. Uh, those are also three for a hundred bucks. Keep some nicer certified ones and raw ones down here on the bottom. Got in quite a bit of uh, Carson Cities, but those are actually in the back. I still have to get those holdered up before I can get those out. Uh, so I don't have those ready on camera. Um, more certified Morgans there. I uh, reloaded the hand pour tray. It was getting kind of skinny. Uh, so I did pull some uh, extras that I had in the back and filled in some of the gaps on the hand poured silver tray. We still have uh, three varieties of these as well on the left, the two ounce. Another popular thing are larger sized bullion coins. You see we have some kilos or a kilo right there, the kookaburra. We have a 10 ounce Canadian. Some of my favorites are the Mexican Libertads. Those are five ounce certifieds, uh, 2020s, both of them, just uh, different holders. One's NGC, one's PCGS. And then we have a Year of the Snake kilo, have an Australian Koala kilo. Got a hand poured down here from uh, Merce Metals. Did get some, I don't know if this shows up very well, but we got some Pirates of the Caribbean uh, from the Disney movie coins. There's four different styles. Here's the tray I featured on our video a few days ago. Got some more Bakken bullion. Whoop. Get that in focus there. There we go. So still very, very popular. The one ounce and two ounce are very popular. Of course, we still got some silver Legos. We have a two ounce silver 308. We still have silver cards available. I featured those in a video before. If that's something you were all interested in, feel free to get a hold of me. And then uh, this one, it's a two ounce mintage of 1023 made by Silver Shield. It's stand your ground and it shows a mother protecting her young child with a shotgun. Uh, but yeah, mintage of just over a thousand. Uh, that's a really nice, cool piece. Got a new two ouncer in the other day with George Washington on it. And then we have some two ounce British, two ounce Mexican. Got uh, on the right there, there's some two ounce buttons from Nine Fine Mint. There's another two ounce British coin. We got some two ounce Canadian. So we got a lot of two ounce pieces. Another new thing I got uh, 500 in are these one gram silver bars. They're two and a half dollars each. Uh, unfortunately, grams of silver isn't a good way to go about investing silver because you're gonna pay about $78 per ounce. If you buy 31.1 of the one gram bars, you'll have a full ounce. But having said that, I do sell a lot because it's good for potential bartering it's uh, good to fill out orders if you know you have $150 to spend and your total comes to 147 Well, throw in a, a one gram bar or a silver dime to kind of round, excuse me, kind of round out your order. Silver round bin, getting pretty picked over. It's mostly buffaloes at the moment. And then uh, 10 ounce bars, kind of more of the same of what I've had. There's more 10 ounce bars behind there, kind of hiding out. Five ounce bars, I do have a few varieties. I got the Ital Preciosi. I got the Cut Saw Mint. Uh, we have some Silvertown. And then one ounce bars, I have a few designs as well. Just give you a quick glimpse on some of the other stuff here down in the bottom. Proof Eagles, some larger Kilo coins, six ounce coins, eight ounce coins, Kilo bars. Still got a few of the Inglehards left, I started with 78. And that's what I got left of the one ounce Inglehards. I did ship a bunch out across the country. So thank you to everyone that contacted me wanting some of those. Uh, I do have a cool vintage 10 ounce Inglehard bar. That's spot plus 10. So you're looking at about 337 bucks at the moment. Got a few of that particular design on hand. 
quite a bit of new stuff out here in the middle. Indian head scents, this bin almost always is empty, but I did find a few the other day that I could toss in there. So there's five up for grabs. Steel scents, buffalo nickels, I got a bunch more of those in the back. Liberty head nickels, uncirculated state quarters and park quarters. A lot of people dig through here looking to fill their collections. Wheat scents, certified modern coins. This is really starting to get pretty low, but there's still some really good stuff in here. You know, $11 retail, $12 retail. I sell these for 10 bucks a piece, or you can get three for 25, and that works out to $8.33 each. Got a bunch of these colorized $2 bills from different states. Not all the states, but a lot of them. There's New Jersey, Connecticut, Virginia, New Hampshire, South Carolina, Vermont, Arkansas. So got quite a few. Those are five bucks each. They're very popular. Got very, very little foreign currency at the moment. I uh, added a whole bunch into this bin, foreign coins priced as marked. There's a lot of Chinese coins in here. I bought a collection of Chinese coins. So if that's something you're into, I don't think it's anything valuable or expensive, but just kind of random stuff. They're all attributed already. And priced there for you. And then just the kind of run of the mill foreign coins. Those are a quarter each or five for a buck. Got two bins because I have so many. If I don't spread them out, it's pretty impossible for people to dig through. Then on the back side of the table, just gonna kind of give you an idea where we're at in relation to when you walk in, which is right behind me. Got uncirculated dollar coins, gold plated coins, large tokens and medals. These are a popular item too. It seems like almost every collection has something like this oddball stuff you know this one is a uh, classic collector series red oak from the woodworkers journal that's interesting yeah all sorts of cool stuff in here i put the larger ones in here smaller ones tend to go in the odds and ends bin those are five or i'm sorry three for a buck or 50 cents each a lot of the wooden nickels end up in there this is a 50th anniversary or i'm sorry second anniversary of the crookston coin club from 1962 if I have any viewers in Crookston, Minnesota, maybe this is a piece you'd want. If the Crookston Coin Club still exists and you know, drop it down in the comments and let me know. I'm curious to, to know that. Got Ike dollars. Not worth much, but a lot of people like to buy them. Kennedy halves, proof and mint sets. I have a bargain bin. Uncirculated halves, which I sold quite a few out of here the other day. I had a, a gentleman come in with a big list on uncirculated Kennedy's he was looking for to fill a collection and we found about 15 that he needed in this bin so he was pretty excited and then we have the free bin which it's getting kind of low I'm gonna have to restock that pretty soon and then we got some gold plated bills here got proof Kennedy halves and copper which is getting pretty low again too I'll have to replenish that we sell a lot of copper Come over here quick. I just realized I didn't turn on the light for this case, but hopefully you can see it okay. We got to showcase some of the gold we have on hand. Just do a slow pan here. And we have gold backs. Those are very, very popular. Here's a smattering of the bullion we have at the moment, the types. Got to all sizes of gold eagles. Uh, one ounce gold bars. We got some fractional maples and Krugerrands. We got a five gram pendant from Pamp Suisse. Got some tenth ounce. Got some half gram, one gram. And then we have some pre 33 gold. Not very much at the moment, but we do have a little bit. We have a nice $10 lib. We have a harshly clean $5 Indian. And then we have some really nice $5 libs have a $3 gold, and then uh, some $2.5. And, and then these are $1 gold here. Type 1, 2, there's some $2.5 gold, and then some foreign gold, some 20 francs. 
1732 French gold coin. It's probably the oldest gold coin I've ever owned, uh, 1732. We still got uh, quite a bit of Prospector, one ounce silver rounds. Sorry if you can see my shoes in the reflection there. Uh, junk silver, uh, we've replenished. We got uh, silver dimes again. We did have to buy a bag on the wholesale market, so we do have those in stock. 90% silver quarters, Walkers, Franklins, Kennedys, and we got some Cull Dollars. So, and then we uh, got quite a bit of 40% on hand again, a little bit of silver nickels. Got lots of Canadian, 80%. Some new foreign silver coins in the bin as well. And then this bin remains empty, Canadian silver dollars. Just don't get those in very often. My uh, barber coinage bin got cleaned out, albeit a, a call one that the customer didn't want. We got a nice two coin American Silver Eagle set. Let me just show you some stuff on this tray here. This uh, Mercury spherical coin was featured in a video just earlier this week, as were these 500 gram copper bars made by Geiger. And these were featured as well. These are the drop the coins, virtual, I'm sorry, augmented reality coins. There's the flyer on that. They're $200 per coin. You want the whole set, it's 800 bucks. Very cool though, a chance to own uh, technology on a coin that's in its infancy. These are the first series and they're only making 999. So there's an opportunity to kind of own something on the ground floor. So, but yeah, that's just a, a quick view of some things we have. Uh, we always have much more inventory, but it's back behind that wall in our vaults. I'll show you this quick here. We are merchandising some stuff here as well. We got some uh, Capital Plastics, got some coin albums, some uh, cardboard two by twos, and then a bunch of different hard capsules for coins, all different sizes. So as I said, we're slowly getting some inventory up and visible for people. Uh, these books right here all have coins in them. So when people are looking for certain things, we uh, pull out the book and have them take a look. We got more colorized twos in that book up there. But uh, here's coin books. We just haven't got them out where customers can grab them yet because we need shelves. So we're working on that. And uh, there's a new sign I got. I'm a proud member of the round table. Uh, as somebody said in the comments one time, it's the private secret society that I pay to be a part of. Well, it's it's not secret, but it is, uh, it is private and it's highly vetted and it's a dealer only group. Uh, but I'm proud to be a member of that group. A lot of great people in there. My favorite art in the shop, gift from a customer's family, customer and his entire family, handmade, very proud of that. It's an awesome piece. But here's kind of my view from the, from the dealer side of the counter, I guess. This is what I see when I stand here and help people. Got a lot of drawers and cabinets to hold different things, but uh, there's my view to the outside. But uh, I got to get opened up because in two minutes, I got to turn on that open sign right there and get her opened up. I've already had a few people come and peek in, but I'm not open yet. I want to get this video filmed and out to you all because June's a really busy month and I don't know how much I'll get out there for content because I got a lot of stuff going on, I'm taking a family trip later in the month. So look forward to uh, getting out the content that I can to everybody. But once again, here's the view from the back side of the counter. But thank you all for tuning in. I'll uh, do these occasionally just to give you a look on what's new in the shop. I get that asked, I get asked that question so often. And a lot of times it's just easier to do a quick video and show people what we got available. But I appreciate you all for tuning in. Thank you so much and have a great day.